Okay, we're back here, uh, I presume we are, I'm with Harold Inger from Spring Green. And everything is turning green this time of year, Harold, and it's, you know, all a real good time to know about fertilizer and right. seed and um, what yeah. you should and shouldn't do. That's right. You know, in the last three weeks, lawns have improved tremendously. If you think back to three weeks ago, how everything was brown and brown spots all over, and this beautiful weather we've had for the last three weeks has really perked up everything. Yeah, you can yes. see the trees are going great. Yeah, it looks great. But the great. one thing I wanted to mention, a lot of times people get up and they, when they start looking at their lawns, when the snow melts, if you look over here, you can see three things that happen a lot, Bob. First thing you can see is the snow, uh, the salt damage along the edge of the driveway. Mm -hmm. That's very common. You get a lot of people walking through right off of the sidewalk. You get uh, traffic damage there. And all those brown spots in that is from a disease known as snow mold. Mm -hmm. And this year was really great for snow mold because we had a lot of snow cover, it took a long time for it to melt. And uh, then once it did melt, boy, it went fast. And that's really the prime conditions. Right. So what do you do? Well, if you have these little brown spots like that, Bob, the best thing to do is just to lightly rake it. Don't go at it real hard, just mm -hmm. lightly rake it then you might need to do some reseeding. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the other thing I want to talk, a lot of times people go and they see at the hardware store or the home uh, improvement center, sod. All right, I'm gonna get some sod and put it out there. Well, you've gotta do some work in order to get that sod to work. Let's take sure. a look over here. A lot of people don't prepare the soil properly right, in the first exactly. place uh, before right. you put the sod down. Exactly. So, you know, you get your piece of sod, you've got a brown spot. What you want to do is lay it out like this. Mm -hmm. Get a decent sized piece and you want to cut around like I did already to make it easier. And then just pull this back like this. Take your spade, go underneath it, pull it up. And now you've got a place for the sod to, to lay the sod in. You can see the thickness here. Sure. It's about the same thickness as the sod. Right. So when you put it in there, it's going to match. It's mm -hmm. not going to be uh, different levels or sitting up high. You can't just lay the sod right on the, on the top of the ground. And one of the things you have to be careful about is not to over fertilize before right. you put this sod down right. or you'll you burn the roots. Exactly. You want to use a, the right kind of fertilizer. And you know, you also want to think about the type of grass that you have in your lawn. If you have an all bluegrass lawn, which is what this grass here mm -hmm. is, it's a darker color, you can see that. And you have a composite grass like this, a bluegrass, ryegrass, and uh, some bent grass it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Sure. So if you've got that kind of a situation, you're gonna to wanna to put some seed down, uh, some a, a blend of grasses. And I brought some different uh, types of grass here with me for you to see. And you can look at the size of those grass seeds. You see mm -hmm. this difference in size? Sure. A lot of people think, well, I've got put a lot of seed down in this little spot. Well, in a pound of bluegrass seed, there's over a million seeds. Mm -hmm. So if you put a handful into a little spot like this, you got way too much seed. Right. Sure, it will all come up. But what will happen then is that you'll get seeding blights that will come through and just wipe out the, every seed, all the, the, all the hard work that you did. So what you want to use is a, a combination of about 80% bluegrass and about 20% ryegrass. Can you perennial. get that blended at your garden store? Yes, at your garden center, at your... Um, or oh, buy a blend. Right, buy it. Spend some money on the mm -hmm. seed, though. Don't go get the dollar a pound seed. Get some decent seed, because it's going to be something you want to have for a long time. We have about 30 seconds left. OK, real quickly, I wanted to talk a little bit about pruning. The other thing that people are going to see, look at this tree out here. You mm -hmm. see the dead branches in there. Sure. Well, that's the type of thing that you want to make sure you get rid of during the wintertime. This isn't something you want to do yourself. It's way too complicated. Hire a sure. arborist to do that type of thing. So, and then as far as fertilizing, the best thing to do, if you're not familiar with it, is to contact a company like Spring Green. Okay. Because we can go out and take care. We know what to go put on, and put on lawns. We've been in business in Chicago for over 30 years. Harold, thanks so much for coming in. Sure. And, um, you know, you can find more information about what Harold was talking about on our website. Mm -hmm. And that way, you can go there, get some more information.